On Chulim Perik Dalid Mishnah Gimel. Continuing to talk about the status of a fetus while it's in the womb of its either mother, animals, or we're going to see human beings as well. Let's say an animal uh, had an ubar, was pregnant, and the, and, uh, and the fetus died. An animal whose fetus died, while it's still in her, in her womb, in her me'ayim, are the guts. And the roe stuck his hand in, the shepherd stuck his hand into the womb, and he touched the, and he touched the, uh, and he touched the fetus, the dead fetus. What is a kosher animal? Or not a kosher animal? Tahor. He is tahor. Remember we learned, we learned, oh, well, then again, I'm learning. Remember my father, of Simcha and Yitzchak, and we learned that there are two types of animals. One is called, of dead animals. One is called a trefa. Trefa is an animal that's alive. I slaughter it, it's shechted, but it wouldn't have survived. It got sick, it would not have survived. Or the second one is an avela. An avela is an animal that's killed. An avela is mitameh. Makes a person tame. So now this this roe wants to know when I touch a dead animal, because the dead animal is still inside the womb of the other animal. Okay? So the Mishnah said, Tanakama says, whether it's a kosher animal or not kosher animal, it's tahor. He, the, 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 uh, the shepherd is still tahor. He's not tame. Rabbi Yossi Aglili Omer says, Rabbi Yossi no. But if it's a tame animal, then he's tame. Ubi tahora, if he's tahor, if it's a kosher animal, then he's tahor. Rabbi Yossi Aglili learns this out from the suki. That's how he learns it out. Nonetheless, why is he tahor? How come he's not tame? So the Gemara says the, the following. It's a kalabachomer. It's a kalabachomer argument. The walls of his, the borders of his mother. I Meaning he's in his mother's womb. There's stillborn. Let's say you shecht an animal and you find a stillborn animal inside, a fully born, fully developed fetus that was that was not alive. So that's kosher. It doesn't have to be slaughtered separately. Right? The fact that it was in its mother's womb, it's permitted to be eaten with the slaughtering of the mother. Okay? Now, so you can eat it. If the animal, the mother, is alive, not slaughtered, it's definitely, it's not, certainly not enough to the taharo to purify it. So therefore, everyone agrees that the stillborn uh, child, fetus, in the mother's womb is not mitame. What about people? What about human beings? Terribly sad. A woman who has, uh, who lost her child, and now you have to, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to abort the fetus. You have to remove the fetus. So the, the woman is still carrying the fetus. And the chaya, the midwife, she extended her hand and she touched the child while it's still in the mother's womb. The chaya is tmea, tuma shiva. She's tmei met because the child is not alive. But the woman herself is still to Ora until she actually gives birth to the stillborn child, to the future stillborn child. So the woman is Tahora, but the Chaya is Tamea. Well, how can it be? How can the woman be Tahora and the Chaya be Tamea? So the Bartuner explains. Well, why is the midwife Tamea Shiva? Dirabanan. It's only Dirabanan. Meaning, Abidin, yes, while the child is still in the mother's womb, it's not Mitamea, it's part of the mother. But it's Dirabanan, she is Tamea. Maybe the child, the head will crest and then will move, will, 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 uh, will, will uh, extend beyond the closed door of the womb. And it says, like the child is born and he's tame. Right? And the chaya, she thinks, no, the child is still in the womb. And therefore, she says, oh, anything I touch is still tahor, it's not tame. So therefore, we we say no matter what, if she touches the child, once she once she touches the child, she has to treat herself like she's the Now between you and the, the bank, the only difference is how long it's going to take. Because the chayas, she's got to catch the child, and the woman is going to give birth to this child. So no matter what, they're going to become to me after uh, when, once the child is born. But as soon as the chaya touches the child, she is to me. Whereas the woman, she can still eat truma, she can still eat touch things that are not tame, and whatever she touches is still tahor. I actually say I have a lot until the child comes out. All right, we dedicate our learning, so have a great day.